Hi friends, my name is Prashant. Welcome to my channel Crazy for TV. Here we discuss various aspects about uh, the databases, relational database systems with reference to Oracle. Today our type of, uh, topic of discussion is Oracle logical storage. As you can see, it has been pictorially represented over here. The logical storage consists of so many components and it is connected with the physical story. The topic of physical storage has been uh, covered in detail in another lesson. You can visit that lesson and uh, know about the physical story. As far as the logical storage is concerned, there are several of these components. First comes the data, table space. The table space basically is defined as the group of data files. And so you can see that there is a crow field here which relates a table space with many of the data files that is one to many relationship. The crow field indicates the one to many relationship. The data files which has been covered in detail in the physical story consists of OS block that is operating system data blocks and the extents that is one data file might contain multiple extents. Now given this architecture we will start with the table space. The table space as you can see here one or more data files that is what exactly I was saying that one table space might contain minimum one data file and maximum up to 1024 data files and an important thing about the table space is that a table data files may be physically located on different drives what does it mean that if a table space contains say three data files those three data files can be located physically on three different drives so that the data which is stored over a table space gets spread over multiple drives and so that we can have parallel read operations in a multi-user system which will help us to make this system very efficient. So data files will be physically located on different drives and an important table space which is must and mandatory in the Oracle database the name is system and it is also called a system table space. I mean, the status is system, the name is also system, the name is not provided by the user, it, is, it cannot be provided by the user, the name is provided by the system itself, the name is system and this table space is mandatory as you can see here and the, it is mandatory because it holds the data dictionary, data dictionary is a set of tables, system tables which hold the metadata. This metadata as you will see in some topic later on, metadata is required for the process of passing that is one of the steps in the query process. Then come the segment, then this segment basically those objects which hold the data. There are several types of segments which hold the data that is table, <coughs> then index, clustered tables, temporary segments and undo segments. Table that is obviously in the relational database system, these are the main objects which hold the data. Indexes basically are those segments which consist of ordered values along with the row ID that is the address of the rows. So that if in a huge table you want to find out some data uh, quickly. So this index is equivalent to an index on the back of a book. So when you file a query internally, if the index is created, Oracle knows that from the metadata, it will go to the index, search for the address of the required row and then go to the table to fetch the required rows and send it to the user. Then cluster, that is cluster tables. Cluster tables basically are the tables stored in the pre-join form. So that if certain tables are required to be accessed in the join form mostly, then the data will not be required to be fetched from two different locations because cluster table cluster table store the data in the same block in the same set of blocks then temporary segments which are used for the data in sort so that uh, the intermediate results of sort can be stored in the temporary segments and after the sort operation is over uh, the temporary segments are released then there are undo segments Undo segments are also called as rollback segments. Rollback segments basically help us to roll back the data. The one larger purpose of 
the rollback segment is that it provides the consistent view of the data that is when some user has changed the data because the rollback segment for the original version of the changed data the another user who is accessing the data for a select operation will be shown the data from the undo segment so that the consistent operation can be carried out then the third important aspect of the segments is that segment spans over all the data files of a table space this is important a single segment for example if there is a table when you create a table or any index or cluster or for that matter any segment you actually specify the name of the table space not the particular data file so the segment is not uh, limited to the size of the data file but it basically spans over all the data files of a table space and so the tables or indexes or for that matter any of these segments can be virtually have unlimited storage each of them can have an unlimited storage so that is the advantage of having the segments to span over all the data files of the table space moreover when the segments span over all the data files of the table space and as we know that the data files will be physically located on different drives the uh, different users who are simultaneously because oracle is a massively multi user system when the different users are accessing the data oracle will scan the data from the different drives as it is located on and so it can it is possible uh, to scan the data to fetch the data quickly uh, with this uh, uh, architecture that is logical storage architecture of the oracle consisting of the table space and the segments the segments basically each of the segment consists of several of extents extents are the unit of allocation you can see that this logically continuous set of oracle data blocks so extents are defined as the continuous set of oracle data blocks those data blocks which are placed juxtaposed minimum 8 blocks extents is normally created uh extent basically is the unit of allocation and deallocation of the space to a segment as you can see here whenever you create a table certain minimum number of extents get created it is not possible for you to designate any particular data file or destination for the extent to be created it will be internally decided by the oracle system where to create this extent and the extent will get created as the contiguous set of data blocks the unit of allocation and deallocation of the space to a segment means that whenever you extend a table or index or for that matter any segment not uh, it will not add single single blocks but it will actually add it in the form of extents and so the segments will uh, grow in the in terms of the extents then comes the oracle data blocks oracle data blocks basically are the oracle formatted blocks oracle formatted blocks means actually they combine several of the os blocks into it uh, all the juxtaposed data blocks uh, sorry os blocks okay will be combined together to form one data block according to the db block size parameter this db block size db underscore block underscore size parameter is defined in the parameter file and accordingly when you create a data file automatically the oracle will internally format the data file in terms of the oracle data blocks uh, by combining several of the operating system blocks the standard sizes of the oracle data blocks are 2k 4k 8k 16k or 32k this is actually in multiple of the operating system blocks means means even multiple of the operating system blocks and data blocks basically form the unit of read and write just like extents form the units of unit of allocation and deallocation of the space to a segment the oracle data blocks form the unit of read and write operation whenever any user uh, request for the data oracle never reads the data row by row from the table but it actually reads the entire block containing that row into the memory and then from there the row required by the user is picked up and sent to the user or to the client so that is how actually the oracle logical storage works thanks for watching thank you